Welcome back Commander. In this video we will help you get started and walk you through the first mission. Without further delay we start the game. Creatures start spawning when you place your first basement, but there's enough time before they can reach you. The first thing we do is to change the path that the creatures will have to run. Placing one basement on their path is enough. Then we add two more basements on top. The basement on the block path receives a fire tower. This one will make sure that the early mass creatures get damaged and that they cannot recharge their shields. The other two spots are reserved for Proton Pulse Towers, but we are only able to place one of them for now. We're speeding up the game since we are ready for the waves. The first wave arrives, and as you already noticed, they are weak and fall quick to area damage. We now gained enough gold to place our second Proton Pulse Tower. They are really good at shooting at enemies in the line. We place an additional basement to prepare for the next tower that we want to build. Meanwhile wave 4 and 5 are running, the last classic mass waves. Starting with wave 6 we will have tougher creatures to fight. To deal with stronger enemies we build a plasma beam tower. They deal more damage the longer they attack so they are perfect at taking out tanky targets. To feel a bit safer we build a second one. Now it's time to prepare against targets that have a special armor. Starting with wave 11, Porcupine will spawn with the waves. They are weak against cannon towers and that's what we will exploit here. Two cannon towers are enough against these targets for now. Let's look at the priorities pretty quick. I recommend to set towers that are located in the back to always attack first. This makes you attack the creatures closest to the extractor first. We add another Proton Pulse Tower to the start of our maze, so we continue to take out the masked creatures that got a little stronger already. Reducing the speed to better capture what's going on now. As you can see the game gets a little harder already. One creature almost sneaked through because of the low attack rate of the cannon towers. So always keep attack rates in mind when trying to defend. Wave 15 is gonna start soon. It will feature the first boss-like unit called Exterminator. If you start with a lot of machine guns and cannons, you will have massive problems clearing this creature. Electric attacks like Proton Pulse or Plasma Beam deal bonus damage against this unit. That's mostly why we need them for this mission. Keep adding towers if you have the energy for it. You're gonna need them. Soon you are going to realize that you run out of space to build. That's why researching better blueprints and unlocking tower upgrades is so important later on. Meanwhile wave 17 is about to start and we are getting close to completing the first mission. We are required to reach wave 18 to claim the sector for us. Victory! Congratulations Captain, you survived enough waves to claim this territory. You may continue playing to extract as much energy as possible. Energy is needed for researching upgrades and unlocking various items. For now let's keep playing and see how far we will make it. If a creature makes it through your maze it is called a leak. To make sure that you don't lose immediately the extractor has a self defense mechanism. Every blueprint also offers available tower locations at the extractor. Building a tower here to attack leaks will increase your chances of surviving. At some point your defense cannot hold anymore. You will then see a display of how much energy you extracted minus what you paid for the blueprint. It will also show if you beat the mission or not. In the next video we will talk about the research system, how to unlock towers and what each tower is good for.